We have something very, very special today to do this morning. We have a baby dedication. A baby dedication. It's always beautiful to dedicate the children to the Lord. But this baby is very, very special here. And this young man, Dominic Jaden Zenteno. Amen. His brother, Cisco, and sister Michelle make their way up. I believe they're going to come up and bring the baby. There's a baby here. There's a baby around. Here comes the baby. Whoa, here comes the baby. And then also those that are standing in, Brother Robert Muro, and also Nicole Alvarez as well. Let's give the big Lord a hand. The praise in the It's an awesome time. Oh, he's handsome. Yesterday, I thought I'd seen it all yesterday. I was at a wedding, and uh, the two little boys were walking by, and and they're so beautiful and cute, but this, this young man is sharp. He is sharp. Him and dad have got it together. They, and mom, too, they, they're coming to him, amen? So it's awesome to see how God is, is moving and how the children of our church are growing. How many know that our church has been growing? Oh, we know people are coming in, but how many know they're growing inside as well? Praise the Lord. But it's a privilege that we have this morning to have uh, this couple that's been with us for a number of years. They actually got to celebrate their five-year anniversary on Friday. Which is special. And then to present their baby boy before the Lord on Sunday morning. And it's awesome because he, I think he's ready. He's ready to grab the mic like Pastor Joe says. He's ready to give it to him. He's ready to preach. It's beautiful to see the kids. You know, we don't, we don't baptize as infants because we, we wait until the person or the child is able to be old enough to understand what they're doing. We live in a day and age where as Christians we believe that as we dedicate to the Lord that that child would grow up in the things of God and that loving parents that, they, that he has that will continue to pray for him, encourage him and watch and see, I don't know, we have kids, man, they're kids. God, they like this now. They start out like this, amen, praise God. And all of a sudden they just get bigger and bigger and bigger preaching, you know, they leave the house. But before they leave the house, they live with a whole lot of love. A whole lot of God's blessing and a whole lot of dedication to the Lord because they can't do it without Christ. And that's what we dedicate. The Bible says in the book of Mark in chapter 10, it says people were bringing little children to Jesus to have them touch him. It says, but the disciples rebuked them. And when Jesus saw that, he wasn't happy. He wasn't happy about the situation. He said, wait a minute, let's stop what we're doing here. The kingdom of God is such like this that you and I have to uh, experience the kingdom of God like a little child. To have that heart that's like a child. But Jesus says here to let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. As it goes on to say, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. It says, I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter into it. He goes on to right here in verse 16. It says, And he took the children in his arms. And he put his hands on them. And he blessed them. So I believe this young man's going to grow up to be a tremendous man of God. And it's going to start. It already has. Because he's got tremendous parents in his life. And he's got sponsors here as well. Brother Robert. I think we all know Brother Robert. We got to pulled him out. Amen. He, he's, he got over there. Amen. He came out. Amen. He got some light. Praise the Lord. Brought him out. And Sister Nicole, she's been around for many years. And I thought I was looking at a pack of double Wrigley gum or something up here. I said, oh, God. See, because it's hard, so hard to tell apart. But they're beautiful. It's a beautiful couple, beautiful family standing in. They have as well responsibility to grow this child in the things of God. I love it because sometimes when the parents need a break, they pick up the phone and call Nino. <laughs> And when you have a lot of kids, a lot of Ninos and a lot of Ninos, amen. Because there comes a time where, where their impartation in this young boy's life is going to become significant in his walk. Because he's going to need some substance to hold on to. And he's going to remember the time that he gave his life to the Lord. And we did it, dedicate him this morning and place him in the hands of God. So why don't we stand up all over this place? It's beautiful to see how we present our children to the Lord is where we learn to trust God. Because God entrusted them to have this child. But it's one thing to trust the, trust the Lord in all the days of his young life as he grows up to be a tremendous man of God. 
Oh, God, have mercy on me. <laughs> Why don't you stretch your hands forward, amen? And we're going to lift this young boy up, Dominic. And he grew up to be a tremendous young man and receive all the blessings that God has for his life. Pray with us this morning. Father, we, Lord, we lift up young Dominic, God. And Father, Lord, your word says to present and bring these young children to you and not hinder that, Lord. Father, we dedicate them unto you. Lord, we put them in your hands, God, knowing the Lord that you will bless his life. Lord, that you would open up doors before him, God, in every step of his life. And Father, we lift up him and his parents, Lord. Lord, your word says to train a child in the way he should go. And when he grows old, he shall not depart. And Father, Lord, let those seeds of growth always be placed within this young boy's heart. And Father, we pray for those that are sponsoring and stepping in. The godparents, Lord. Father, that, Lord, they would make an impartation and an impact within his life. Father, we pray your blessing. As your word says, Lord, that you touched him and you blessed him. And Father, we ask your blessing upon this young life. And he would grow up to be a tremendous man of God. And Lord, that every step that he takes, God, would glorify your kingdom. In Jesus' name, and we all say, Amen. 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 Give the Lord a big hand of praise. At this time, praise the Lord as you remain.